Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, it's more like a video, just showcasing how I use 3D printing in everyday life, especially with the Autodesk Fusion 360. Uh, first, I start off with a problem in need of a solution. In this case, I have this very unstable laptop support uh, that I use. And you can download Fusion 360 for free as long as you are uh, a student or not making money of it. Um, yeah, so then uh, my solution would look something like this. Uh, yeah. It would obviously have additional planks. But uh, this is the thing that I <coughs> was going to showcase how I would uh, draw. So that's what I'm going to do. So first, we need a new project. We name this here. And I like to start with the target, which is uh, in this case the wooden board. We need to start a new sketch. We choose a plane to sketch on. We need to choose the front plane. And I'm going to choose a center rectangle here. And I'm just going to punch in the distance if I can remember it. Extrude this out using extrude E. The distance here will not matter. Let's say three. Well, <laughs> cool. It's more realistic. We can choose to make it appear more wouldn't like fine I guess it's fine now we have our plank uh, we need to make this into a component now it's a component the next step we would do the uh, support and again we need to start with a sketch a sketch and a plane now in this case we can just choose the, the edge of the plank here the board go and again a uh, extremely useful command this center rectangle and that's the inside and this is the outside now the dimensions are not important, we only need to stay clear of the plank. And now just click the, the this one to make them follow each other. So if I change this to three, the other one will update automatically. And thickness should probably be around uh, whatever. And this would be a tad more. Ten, perhaps? We'll see later how it looks. And then we extrude this out with E. And this is only just going like so. And now we uh, need to make a hole for the uh, leg part of the board. And again, it's a sketch. And this time it's this surface. We need to cut our hole. We'll choose our rectangle. And we want to, to 
be centered. I don't know if this will snap to the center. Enter. Oh, snap to something there. It snapped to the uh, the the hole. That hole. That is actually. It's actually fine. For us. But the uh, the the square does not seem to be centered. We need it to be there, so make a constraint, a horizontal vertical constraint. So what we want is center up this. Oh, that's interesting. Well, try it the other way around. Center up this to that. That's not what I want. Center of this to that. There we go. It's more like it. Is it symmetrical? No. It's symmetrical <laughs> in one axis. We need to make the same over here. Go. Now, all we need is this thickness. And that's just. Uh, thickness of the board, it's 21, plus a little spare, a little play. And again, it's extrude this part, but not we're not extruding upwards, we're cutting, so it's the other way. And now, to make it adaptive, if we change something later, we make it not extend to distance, but we make it extend to something. And that something is this face, this board. There we go. We have our hole. And uh, 